We are recording, so it is nine o'clock. We are gonna go ahead and get started. So thank you guys who are all tuning in and joining us tonight. We'll, we promise to try to keep it as short as we can. Um, but tonight we have four of us who are going to be speaking and just sharing a little bit more about what this business means to us and how we find the time to work it and how we earn an income. Um, and then I'm just going to answer a couple, you know, common questions at the very end. And if you have any questions, we'll answer those too. So I am going to turn it over to Laura and let her get started. Hi, so I am Laura Hootmacker. I think I'm one of three Laura's now on our team. So I have been coaching for nearly two years. I'm approaching my two year anniversary, actually the end of next month. And what brought me to coaching was initially my journey. And I feel so bad saying this, but I followed Lisa and Lisa kept up with me for three years before I said yes to her and decided to jump all in on a journey with Beachbody and her as my coach. So my daughter was getting married in June of 2018 and my husband and I had started exercising and trying to do stuff on our own. And we did a little bit and I lost like 10 pounds and a couple inches and I was so excited. Wedding rolled around, honeymoon, rest of the summer and everything. So I remember getting back two things kind of sent me to my journey so I remember getting back one was the pictures from the wedding and I was totally devastated because I hated I remember feeling that day I hated my dress I hated my hair I was just and I know the day was not about me but I just I didn't feel confident or comfortable in my skin and then um number two is we had spent the summer just having fun after the wedding and everything and I woke up one morning and hopped on the scale and I know the scale is like your worst enemy sometimes, especially when you're on a journey. And I had gained back everything that I had lost over the summer and I was just like, okay, something's got to give. So it was a Sunday, I reached out to Lisa. I was like, just tell me what to do and I'll do it. And I haven't looked back since. I jumped in on my journey. I jumped in with coaching and, um, I was soon becoming an empty nester because my daughter had gotten married. She's already through college and everything. And my son was coming into senior year of high school and he was getting ready to go to college, um, which now he's getting ready to go into his sophomore year. So I was like, I need to, to, to do something to help. Cause I had been a stay at home mom, pretty much his high school career. Um, I volunteered with band boosters. I was on the band board, ran the school store, that kind of thing. And my husband's like, well, maybe you should think about going back to work. And I had worked in the corporate world for like 21 years. And I was like, mm, don't want to do that. Don't want to go back to having to get up, work a nine to five, drive the traffic, you know, sit behind a desk and answer a phone for eight hours a day. So I decided to go in all with coaching and I went all in and so now my coaching job helps me save money to help pay for Logan's college education, um, what he doesn't get covered in scholarships. And then it also has brought me doing something that I have come to love. Like I love my challengers. I love my team. Um, we have the greatest bond and sisterhood that, you know, you, when you find that small group of friends and you just, you, I don't know how to explain it. You just, you click, we've all just clicked. There's no one on our team that, you know, we, we don't butt heads or anything. We lift each other up on bad days. We support and we celebrate each other on good days. And it doesn't matter where I am on my coaching journey. You know, my team is rocking it. You know, when someone else like, Allison and Courtney and them who are totally rocking their journeys right now and their and their teams and their businesses um, you know we're all there to support we don't we don't sit there and be like oh god you know so we're like yes go 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 so um, coaching has really just beach body all together but coaching too has just really it saved my life it really did so that's a little bit about me and coaching and everything and why I love it 
I'll never go back to the corporate world. Never. Never. Thanks, Laura. Thanks. I love it. I'm so glad that I continued to talk to you for three years. I know. I know. Um, all right, Courtney, let's hear it. It helps if I unmute, you know, um, sorry. <laughs> I, like Laura, am coming up on my two-year coaching anniversary as well. Mine is at the end of September. Um, and when I started, I actually, my sister had been um, kind of dabbled in Beachbody like five years ago and convinced me to do um, DVDs with her. So I had these Shanti T25 DVDs and some 21 day fix DVDs. And I never really gave myself a shot until a couple of years ago, I was coming up on a birthday and I kept thinking like, you're miserable. Why are you doing this to yourself? Like make a change. And so I dug out those old DVDs and I found the portion control containers and I started doing it all on my own. Um, and I, it was going, I mean, I was, it was working, but it wasn't until I had a friend who was a coach and she kept bugging me and bugging me. And I was like, no, I'm good. I can do this on my own. But she's like, just join my group, see what it's like. You're already doing what we're doing. Just try it. So I joined her group and that's when I started seeing a big difference, just that sense of community, um, having people encourage me and help me to keep going. And I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm also slightly competitive. So seeing somebody get in their workout and I hadn't gotten mine in yet. And I was like, Ooh, you better get your workout in. So that was something that I needed. I needed that sense of community. And because of that, I started seeing really good results. And about three months in, I think I'd lost like 25 pounds or so at that point. And so my friend was like, okay, well now you need to coach. So I decided to just go all in and, and coach. And at the time, um, I've been a preschool teacher for the last few years. I would kind of worked in the cracks of my day. So like before I would go into my class, I'd um, you know, do a little bit of work real quick in my car before going into the building or, you know, when I laid my preschool class down for nap time and when I'd get home in the evening. And so I was working my coaching business just in the cracks of my day. And just by sharing my story and by helping others, I started to really see, you know, a benefit in income. I was able to pay for my products, like my shakes and my mom crack and all those things. But I also liked the free swag, like give me a tank top. I like that. <laughs> or um, I also, which this one is a bigger one, but I earned a trip to the Bahamas um, within like six months of starting coaching. So that was awesome because I don't go anywhere ever. Um, I also had earned my summit ticket last year and even some money for the hotel, um, success club trip. You know, those things were big for me because I've, we're such homebodies, we don't do anything like that. And so to earn them was really, really cool. Um, and let's be real, I'm super excited about this month's prize swag. I really can't wait for my Shakeology Snuggies, just saying, the prizes are cool. Um, we also use the money, the extra income to like cover my kids' sports, like football cleats and things like that. And one of my sons, um, he does art lessons and those can be really pricey. So those things were paid for from that. We could put extra on a car payment or groceries or what have you. Um, I will say this is something that's kind of new, but just in the last couple of weeks, um, I've always had a goal in mind as to when I would be able to stay home with my boys. And I'm super close to my goal. Um, and my husband has seen such a benefit to our, to this business for our family that he's like, you know what, you have to just go for it. So I actually just quit my job and um, I'm going to be working my, my business or I have really been working my business for the last few months anyway, but just um, 
full time. So then when my kids, whatever we decide, if we're gonna homeschool them or do e-learning or what have you, I'm also home to be there if they need me and that sort of thing. So um, I'm kind of excited about that. The, the thing that Laura said too, is that this community, I mean, this has given me something really positive to focus on in the last few months with the coronavirus and being quarantined and all that. Um, I've just had that built-in community and it's, it's really nice that that, uh, that was already there. So that, that's kind of my story. Um, I know that too, sometimes starting to coach can be very overwhelming, but I do have to say that we, Lisa, really does an amazing job with training um, and getting you all of the resources that you need to get started. We all work together and that's been really beneficial too. So you're never alone if you decide to do this. You'll always have a community of women who are going to support you and uplift you. And that to me has been worth everything. I love that. And I'm so excited for you to be able to walk away from your job. Not that that has to be the goal for everybody, but it was your goal and you were able to do that, which is yeah, awesome. That's what I'm excited for you. Yay. All right, Laura, we have a second Laura who's ready to share. And Laura is one of our newer coaches. So we thought it would be important to bring somebody on who's just kind of getting started with her coaching business. So take it away, Laura. All right. Hey, y'all. So I am Laura Beth and um, I joined Beachbody really for the first, well, for the first time in December. Um, it really started with me just needing workouts done for me. I come from a background already in fitness. I am a personal trainer and a group X instructor. And, but I had just had my second baby, baby boy, and um, really just needed workouts done for me. I couldn't go to childcare because my kids kept getting sick all the time. And so I was stuck at home. Um, and I was kind of disappointed actually when I joined because I thought I was taking the easy way out and not making myself my own workouts and things like that. Um, but I quickly just realized um, like how much I loved it. And um, I started off with bar and got a core back and felt good about myself for the first time in like six months after having baby boy. And um I had signed up as a coach, honestly, because I just wanted a discount on mom crack. Um, but then really realized how much I love the programs. And so thought it might be something I might dabble in um, just to pay for products. And um, I'll be honestly, my intention was always to go back to the gym. I thought I was just kind of um, biding my time until then. Um, and so anyway, the second program came around and I had people asking me about what I was doing, started sharing a little bit more and then quickly realized like that people were watching and that people wanted in on what I was doing. Um, and so kind of jumped in um, really pretty strongly at the end of March, early April, kind of as quarantine happened one i needed something to do and this was like something positive and um gave me something to focus on besides being stuck at home and so i jumped all in and what really helped was seeing allison um, my coach love um her challengers and lead really well and love me and lead me well and so um, I wanted that and um, I wanted to be a part of that and one thing that I loved um, was that at the gym I always had the fitness side of it but not the nutrition and I loved that I got to help women do both that was so big for me um, after watching women struggle at the gym um, with with their health because I, I couldn't 
I couldn't get that nutrition aspect of it for them. And so that's kind of another thing that drew me to this side of coaching is that I feel like this, this, you can love your challenger well on all sides. Um, the fitness aspect and just fueling your body and your mind too. Um, so anyway, so I jumped in, in at the end of March, um, early April and really month by month, I have worked a little bit harder and a little bit more, um, just as I've seen the fruits of my labor. And so I, um, am those things, but I'm also a stay at home mom. And so have never really done it for the money side of it, but just because I like to pay for my kids expensive clothes. <laughs> and, um, so anyway, so it kind of started as that, but as I've worked um, through these last few months, I just the financial aspect has been wonderful for our family. This has been the best month for me yet. And I've been able to pay for our car payment and our groceries thus far. And so for a stay at home mom, that's pretty big to um, kind of relieve the financial burden all from my husband and to kind of take some of that on. So that's been really cool. Um, I also love the community that it gives me. So quarantine has been hard, I think for everybody, but this has given me um, something to look forward to every day, a purpose. And I'm a teacher by trade and um, it gives me a purpose to teach women how to love their bodies well. Um, and I've, I don't think I've ever been part of a community that, um, that isn't like competitive and that just really desires for everybody to be successful. When I was at the gym, it was super competitive. Um, just like getting clients and classes and things like that. But this is like, we really just cheer each other on and good days and bad days and celebrate with each other. And I've never been a part of something like that. Um, a community that is just really willing to help and, um, take a newbie and like I've asked a thousand questions and I don't think anybody scrambled once I think I've asked Allison about five million and she just keeps saying it's fine <laughs> so um so yeah so that's kind of that's that's my story that's how I'm here thank you all right, guys. Well, I'm going to share just a little bit because um, I don't want to bore you because I'm like grandma coach. I've been around for like five years. Um, but I do think it's important to hear a little bit about everybody's story. And so I started coaching five years ago. And originally I had no desire to coach. I had a career in higher education. I was running a college. Um, went to school for that. I had some degrees, you know, and I just wanted to be the president of a college making six figures. And that's all I ever wanted. And, um, but I was working 40, 50 hours. I was commuting. And then all of a sudden I started having kids. And with my second baby, um, I was 35 when I had him. And so I was looking for a solution to lose weight because I too taught at the gym. I taught group fitness and I knew how to work out, but I didn't know how to eat. And so I saw a friend of mine posting pictures online and I reached out and I asked what she was doing because she had an infant the same age as mine and she looked amazing. So she got me started with 21 day fix and I was able to drop like 10 pounds in the first 21 days. And I was immediately hooked because first of all, I didn't have to go to the gym and spend hours there. And second of all, I could do it in my house while my kids were sleeping for 30 minutes a day. They taught me how to eat. I got to carry these portion, these colored containers everywhere I went. And I was a chronic breakfast skipper. I would drink coffee. I would go to Starbucks and that's all I would eat until noon or one. And then I would stuff my face with lunch. So I actually learned how to eat healthy and I started eating breakfast and making a shake as I was leaving for work every day. And so that was my story five years ago. And like I said, I never thought I would step away from my full-time career, but um, like everyone's been saying, once you get going and once you start getting results and you're telling people about them or people are asking you, what are you doing? Because they see you changing, they see your body changing. And so you're sharing that journey. You're sharing what's working for you. And it kind of grows into 
you know, just telling your friends and family to telling your neighbors to telling your coworkers and then a legit business. And so that was five years ago. And, um, I started seeing the compound effect. I started seeing, Hey, if I help just a couple people every month, three to five people every month and do that every single month, I can actually have a, a pretty decent business. And so at the two year mark, I was able to step away from my full-time career. Um, and that was just something that my husband and I decided we wanted to move. We wanted to be in a community where our kids could grow up. We moved to Florida um, from South Carolina and we found a house in a community that we wanted to be in. But I also, we were always a dual income family. Um, so there was never a point when I was going to step away and not contribute financially. So I knew that I had to start earning, you know, almost exactly what I was earning in my full-time career for us to live the life that we wanted to live. And so I put my head down, I got to work. I, you know, what's so great about this business is that like everyone's saying, there are tools for you to build a business. There are trainings for you to dial into. No one is going to turn you away because we're all invested in each other's success because we are a team. We work together. We reach goals together. We, we help one another get to where we need to be in our businesses. And so that was a few years ago. And ever since I've been working from home, I have, you know, obviously a little more time freedom now to take my kids to school, to pick them up off the bus, to homeschool them, you know, during quarantine. Um, and like everyone has said, this community is just something that, you know, in the corporate world, I was always looked down on for being a woman, um, you know, judged for my gender and my age. And it was just something that, didn't serve me, didn't serve my soul, but you know, I just thought that's what you did. Went to school, got the degree, got the job, worked there 30 years. Um, and so I never knew there was a, an opportunity like this to be able to, you know, share my love for health and fitness, help other women get really good results and actually earn an income. And so, um, I'm just, so thankful for our community, for our team. You know, we get to go to events. We've been on some trips together. We earn trips, we earn tank tops. Um, and then, you know, we're able to, some of us want to earn a full-time income and some of us do this as a hobby coach. And that's what's so great about this business too, is that you literally decide um, what you want out of this business. If you want to make a full-time income, here are the steps and this is what you do every single day. You know, if you want to just get your products paid for, we have some steps in place. So you can decide if you want to just sign up for a discount, if you want to work as a hobby or really kind of put your foot down on the gas and build a business. Um, you know, there's women in our business who make seven figures a year and it's, you know, it's possible for anyone. Um, as long as you're willing to do the work, I might add. Um, so, I just wanted to share a little bit about my story, but I wanted to share three quick things with you because I think a lot of people see us posting pictures on social media and they're like, she posts pictures after her workout. Like how does she run a business? And so the, one of the things that we do as coaches is we provide a private community, an online community for all of our clients and all of our coaches. We want to give you the tools to be successful. So we get everybody into um, a group of some sort. Sometimes we do the same program together from our Beachbody On Demand library. Sometimes we do different programs. We share resources, we share recipes, we share meal plans, and we really work together to get good results because that's the goal is we want our clients to get good results, right? We want them to love the programs and products as much as we do um, because eventually it's a no brainer. Once you're kind of getting the results and sharing it with others, then it just kind of turns into either a side hustle or a business, right? So we provide that online community and we don't have to be the expert. We don't write the nutrition programs. We don't write the workout programs. All we have to do is show people where to go, show them how to get into their workout, show them where the resources are, and then we are the cheerleader. We are motivating them throughout their journey. So that's kind of what we do. How much time does it take is a question that we most often get asked. And again, as far as the time that you put into this business, I would say my first two years as a coach, I was working about an hour a day. Um, 
So maybe seven hours a week, five, seven, 10 hours a week to kind of get that ball rolling. Um, so it might require you getting up a little early. When I worked my full-time job, I got up at 5.30 in the morning. I got my workout in. I read some personal development. I did my journaling. I did a little bit of work before work. And then I worked 8 to 4.30. And then at night, I had two kids, three and under. I had a husband who traveled. I had to make dinner. I had to do dishes. I had to give the kids a bath. And at 8.30, I could sit down and do another 30 minutes of work. But if you have that vision of where you want to go and how you want to grow a business, then it's worth it, you know? So um, I spend a little more time on my business now because we do have a big team and we set up trainings and we set up calls and we do so many other things. But as a newer coach, if you can put in at least an hour per day, we have a system in place that will help you be successful if you take the necessary steps. All right. And then the last thing I want to talk about is how we earn money because um, that's always on everybody's mind. Right. Um, so there are a couple ways we earn money and I'm really not going to dive into how the complexity of it, but essentially when you give people a solution, you get them started with a health and fitness package that will give them the results that they're looking for. It's the total solution package is what we call it. We get them started on their health and fitness journey. And so once you provide that tool to someone, you will be compensated for that. So we have a different type of commission structure based on that package that they get started with. So you can earn from that. Once you start enrolling multiple customers, you have an opportunity to kind of grow your organization. And next, you can start tapping into what's called weekly bonuses. And so we are compensated based on the things that we're offering to our clients, but also through the volume that comes through our organization. So even as a new baby coach, you can be paid on two different levels, um, you know, whatever you are selling, and then the bonuses that are coming from the volume that's coming in. And then as you continue to grow, we have quarterly bonuses that you're eligible to earn. We have matching bonuses. Um, we have bonuses for enrolling new team members over a five week period. We have trips that you can earn. We have tank tops that you can earn. So you do get compensated for your productivity, but you also get compensated with our from Beachbody in so many different ways. And I know me personally, I'm like, give me a contest and tell me there's a tank top. I'm going to work hard, you know? Um, so there are so many opportunities to earn an income. And so what we want to do is really get people started right and make sure we're giving them the right tools and then make sure that you're just being consistent and helping, you know, three to five people every month. And then you'll be able to build a really solid income for yourself. So, um, it, there is a little bit more complexity to it, but we'll save that for new coach training um, just so you can understand it a little bit better. But what you want to do is get yourself into a position, position where you're not just being a salesperson because who wants to do that? And I can tell you this, that um, the amount of people that I helped each month in the beginning um, is not much less than the amount of people that I'm helping now. So it's not like you have to always be doing more and more and more and more each month. As long as you're consistent every single month, you'll still see income growth over the long term, which is what I love. So I'm going to stop talking now. Um, but hopefully that was helpful. Um, there's women on our team. We are connected from all over the United States. We have some coaches in Canada. We also are open in the UK. So we are connected. We have husbands who are coaches. We have men on our team. There is a spot for everyone. And that's what's so great about this opportunity is that you don't need a certification. You don't need a degree. You just need a passion for health and fitness and for, you know, getting healthy yourself and for helping others, you know, kind of find that passion for health and fitness too. So I'm going to stop, but I'm going to unmute everyone. If you want to ask a question for any of the coaches who spoke or just ask a general question, please go ahead and do that.
All right, I'll ask a question. Yeah. Um, how difficult is it to get clients? Like, I, is it hard to like advertise yourself online and not seem fake? And how many people actually will um, uh, want to participate? Like, is it difficult getting the clients to build up your number of people on your team? Does anybody, does anybody want to take that or you want me to answer? Go ahead, Lisa. Um, Heather, there's two things that we do. We market, which, you know, you've seen all my posts on mm -hmm. social media, you know, so I, we have the posts that we put out there, right? But we also do prospecting. And so we talk to people behind the scenes, you know, maybe those are the people who are liking or commenting on your post, you know, maybe those are people who are watching your stories, you know, and it's not like being a dirty car salesman being like, Hey, I'm a beach body coach. You should totally join and spend this money. You know, it's more about just getting to know the people who are watching you, you know, or relating to people who have things in common. Like just for example, Allison and Courtney who are on the call right now, like we're, it's it, like, we have some weird commonalities. We're both, we're all boy moms, you know, for example. And so you come to find like people who, you know, have some commonalities with you and it's more about just connecting and building relationships. Um, but you do kind of have to do both things. You know, you have to share your journey. You have to put it out there so that people can see, you know, you can't just be like, here's my results. I lost 50 pounds. Well, how did you do it? You know, like it didn't happen overnight. And so I think just being consistent on social media and then, you know, we'll give you um, like a tracking system or a business like activity tracker is what it's called. So you'll know the steps that you need to do okay. every day. Can I add on to that? Yeah. So um, that's really scary for me too. When I started, I didn't even have a Facebook account and I had like 10 posts on Instagram. Um, and my husband's a pastor, which gets really tricky about how you share things about like your body. Um, but one of the things that we really talk about is that this, one of the things that I train my new coaches is if you go to this really awesome new restaurant, the first thing that you're going to do is share it with somebody, right? Like if you eat the best chicken sandwich that you've ever eaten at this awesome restaurant, like you're going to tell your friends, you're going to tell your spouse, like you're going to tell people about it. There's this new great restaurant in town. And so I try to always come at it from that perspective of like, I'm using this product. I love what I'm doing. I know how like finding help, a help, getting on a health journey has really changed me. And that's where I'm sharing from. And so like my mindset is always genuine when I share, um, whether I'm promoting a specific product or whether I'm promoting a specific, um, like program, it doesn't feel, you know, hard whenever it's something that I'm really enjoying and something that I'm passionate about. And so like, there might be a bunch of different ways to say, you know, what, what you're passionate about or what the program is or what that you want people to join you, but it boils down to being what we call as a product of the product. And so we'll train you on the how, like we'll train you on what, give you ideas for what to post and what to talk about and things like that. But, um, we definitely try to come at it from a place of like, this is health. This is what it means for me and sharing your story. Um, and what it's done for you is a little bit more simple than less scary, I guess, than, you know, feeling like you have to promote these products that you don't believe in, I guess, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. If I can add on there too, I am like the most introverted, homebody-ish girl you will ever meet. And I don't like talking to people all the time. <laughs> like I don't want to go out and do things. So quarantine has been great for us, but it is about being genuine. And I found that again, you're just sharing, just like Allison said, I love that analogy. You're just sharing what you love. And if you're genuine about it and you're coming from, you know, a place in your heart, how it's really helped benefit you. 
mean, that's what this is about. It's about helping others. So sharing, sharing your story and being genuine is really going to help you to gain people watching you and seeing what you're doing. What else? Does anybody else have any other questions? Um, I do. Hi, I'm Shar. Nice to meet you guys. Hi. No, Carrie. Um, okay, so anyway, but because I know you said it was like about two years before you started making this like a part of like your income, like where you could start to like leave your current job. Um, that's what I would want to do over time as well. How many like people did you need like clients and like people on your team did you need for that to start becoming a reality? Like when did it start happening? Um, it's different, honestly, for everyone. Um, it really depends how you set yourself up in your organization. Um, and so for me personally, we have different ranks. And so for me personally, um, I had to develop two leaders on my team. And, um, so I had, you know, several people who were coaches or customers but I had two other girls on my team who were actually doing the business as well. And so you get a combination of people. You get customers, you get discount coaches, people who just sign up for the discount, and then you get people who actually want to work the business. And so all of that contributes to volume. And so a combination of helping three to five people every month and the volume that comes in from a couple of people on your team working for me created the income I needed to step away and um, what I would consider a full-time income. Okay. So is it more beneficial when someone becomes a coach or when someone just like buys a program or like the products? Like, where do you see the most income from? And that depends as well. <laughs> okay. <Let's say. laughs> um, so if someone becomes a coach that helps you build your rank, which sometimes opens up different levels of earning for you, which is nice. Um, but the point of someone, you know, signing up as a coach would be to contribute volume to your organization. And so if I have somebody who maybe just is going to buy one time, um, I might just, you know, send them a customer order and that's fine. Um, but then if I see that over time, they're continuing to do all of our programs and, you know, um, always involved, then I'm going to say, why don't you sign up as a coach so you can at least save yourself some money? Um, because then it just creates more volume, which will turn into a weekly bonus for you. Okay, well, that's literally why I'm here, because um, that's like what I did with Carrie. So um, if we were coaches then, because I also teach classes like um, just like randomly, like in parks and gyms and stuff, um, would, you, would we be able to use the content to like put into like classes that we teach in like gyms and stuff, or is there some like copyright, like whatever involved in that? I do. <laughs> Oh, I, I don't want to think either. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't do like, I teach at the gym. So I just use a little bit from some of our programs. I mean, I don't teach the exact class, the way it's written, whatever. Um, but we do have um, some documents in our back office that um, like, if you ever wanted to run what's called a fit club, where if you're not certified, but you wanted to have a bunch of people over to do like a beach body program, we do have some paperwork in our back office, like consent forms, basically, if you were doing a full out beach body program. But I use some of the choreography all the time in my classes. Hey, can I go back to the income question and like how fast it can I, can I, so for me, I was a teacher and I have just gotten to the point about three years in where if I was still teaching, which I'm not, I'm already not teaching. I've pretty much surpassed my teaching income of what I was bringing home. Um, and I'm about three years in, but 
a girl on my team is a nurse. And so it, it all depends on like how fast you work and how hard you work, because like this business is direct reflection of like, how much are you going to work like that? It is. Um, and how much you're able to get like that. There's a lot of factors to your income, but it also depends on like how much you need to replace as to how far you go in. My, I have a coach on my team who she's a little over a year in the business. She started in, I think May of last year. She's a nurse and she's getting ready to have her fifth baby in five years. And like she, this month has been able to say after I have these babies, like I can choose to go back to nursing or not. Um, it hasn't replaced her full-time nursing income, but like she's watched it be consistent enough over the last six months that she knows that she's got enough to be able to say, I don't have to walk right back into my nursing job. So um, that's just an example. Like she probably works about the same amount of time that I work, maybe a little bit more at times. Um, but she was able to like replace her income a lot quicker than I did. So it kind of depends on how quickly you jump in and how quickly you run um, and work and things like that. So just because like, you know, I mean, it might take you three years. It might take you five years. <laughs> it might take you six months. I mean, it really, it, it really depends on what the work that you put in right away, I guess. It, it really is about consistency too. You know, if you help three people your first month and you make a couple hundred bucks and you're like, yes. And then the next month you do nothing then, you know, it's really hard to <clears throat> continue to build your income, you know, so that's why we really talk and teach how to be consistent, you know, showing up on social media, doing the daily activities that we provide and show you how to do. And then, you know, every single month, just being consistent, because when you're doing that, you're building, you know, a solid base, you're building residual income. And that's how, you know, I'm five years in and I can tell you that my paychecks are 90% team cycle bonus from volume and 10% what I sell, which in the beginning it's, it's flip-flopped, right? Because you're just getting started. You don't have a team, you don't have volume, but you start to build that, you know, over time. And if you're consistent and do, do the things every month, then you'll get to that point if you want. Anything else? Any other questions? So like, I have two more, <laughs> so sorry. Um, okay, so I like that that is what it like flip flops like that. Cause like, obviously like I would like to make an income from it, but I more so like, yeah, I wanna see like people make a change in their life and then same for like me too. Um, but let's just say you're not a fan of the shakes, like the way they taste. Have you had that before? And then like, I know you're trying to like, like sell them and like use them and stuff, but like what happens? Like, do you have like, do you recommend like recipes and stuff to make them taste better and like that kind of stuff? Okay. Yeah. Are you, are you talking about for yourself or are you talking about people yeah. you're bringing in? So, well, for myself, I, I've tried like one and I, I don't like chocolate. Like I'm super weird. So, um, I've tried the strawberry one and I wasn't like a huge fan and I would just, I don't know. And I've, I've heard like a couple other people, not a ton, but they've said that, yeah, I've tried it. It was okay. But like, I like this more or something. So, um, I wouldn't know how to like get started if like that was to happen or what I could say to be like, well, why don't you try this? Because it's better. And then for me too, cause I currently oh. have shakes in a, a different program and I love it for breakfast. So I would want to continue doing that. Anybody want to jump in? If you look no. on Pinterest and type in Shakeology recipes for this flavor, you'll get like 8 million different ideas. Um, and then you just have to kind of find which one you like. Sometimes when I, well, when I have somebody new sign on, I'll send them my favorite recipe. Um, and then if they have a different flavor than, I mean, I like chocolate, but if somebody likes strawberry or vanilla or whatever, then I send them recipe ideas. I mean, there's tons, tons of things you can do to make them fancy. I like to call them my fancy shakes. 
And we do also have um, the performance line, you know, so getting people going with the Energize and the Recover is always an option. We have beach bars. We have so many different nutritional products um, to recommend to people, you know, based on allergies or, you know, whatever it may be, you know, but I always encourage my new customers, you know, you've got to give it a full 30 days to number one, see the full benefit of it. But number two, you know, you can't just discount it after one day, you know, and I will say that, you know, our nutritionals are the bread and butter of our business. That's how you can continue to build res residual income is through the volume that comes from people who continue to order. And so, yes, it is our job to be products of the product. And we don't use, I mean, I don't use every single product. I have things that I love and I talk about all the time and I have things that I don't use and I have things that I may use sometimes, you know? Does that help? I've, I've tried, I've tried Energize. I love it more than what I'm using now in my current program. So like, yes, love that. I could sell the crap out of that. But, um, I have one last weird question and I know it like almost everyone looks like pretty much for the most part has kids or has had kids. And I don't know if you've had multiple kids like twins. Um, but I have something it's, I don't know how to say the first word, but it's like diastasis recti. So it's like you're apps pretty much split apart and you have to like mend them back together or get surgery. Um, so I didn't know if like you had education on like how to make moves like safe because you're supposed to be like careful about like the way you do crunches and stuff like that. So I didn't know if you had experience with people that. Yeah. Can you hear me? Okay. Uh, so I, I'm a postpartum mom times three and I have a 10 month old right now. And so a lot of the people that I work with are postpartum, um, having babies, just having babies. Um, and so I deal with this a lot and the answer to that is they need to talk to their doctor. <laughs> um, truthfully, like we don't have a program that is for that and we're not like certified to say like, here's how to do that. So they talk to their doctor and typically tell their doctor that they're doing a workout program and ask for replacement exercises for core, anything that's like on the floor core. And almost always um, my girls come back and like they're able to do our programs and just kind of modify based on their needs. So hopefully that helps. Yeah, you'll run into a whole, a whole host of people that have all kinds of things, you know? And so you just tell them to talk to their doctor and then, you know, you can make a recommendation of a beginner, intermediate or advanced program, just depending, that's part of kind of what I call the discovery phase where you're talking to people behind the scenes, where you're figuring out what they're doing. You're figuring out, you know, what have they tried in the past? What works? What doesn't work? What's your fitness level? And so you do a little bit of that so you know what kind of program you can recommend. But if it's a true medical concern, then obviously we don't diagnose. We don't, you know, we just have to say, check with your doctor first. And then once you're clear for exercise, I have something really awesome that you can get started with. Thanks. I'm yeah. done now. I love it. Anybody else have any more questions this evening? Anyone? Well, hopefully this was helpful. Maybe got some of your questions answered. Um, you know, and of course, feel free to reach out to any of us or the person who invited you to this call tonight. And if you, if anything comes up, I know I'm always like, Oh shoot, I should have asked that when I was on. So if you think of anything later, just make sure you reach out to the person who invited you and get with them. And hopefully you guys will be joining our team, joining our new coach mentorship. Um, and just one little side note, we just had our virtual summit last weekend, which is our annual conference where we usually all come together in a big city and it's lots of fun. We eat a lot of food. We do a lot of workouts um, and we all like to eat too. So if you were hesitant because you thought like you'd have to eat lettuce leaves and like diet food all the time, you're with the wrong group of people because we eat. 
um, Mexican usually. But um, what was I going to say? Oh, we just had our virtual summit. And so I can tell you guys that over the next six months, we have some, some amazing programs and products coming. So these next six months, honestly, is where my business I've over, you know, historically starts to really ramp up you know, as we come into the last few months of the year and get in before we get into January. So typically that October, November, December quarter is always historically a really great quarter. And so we have some really great things coming, new programs, new products, and it's just a great time to get started. You know, think about it. If you get started now and your goal is to pay for your Christmas in cash, you know, if you make a few hundred dollars each month through the end of the year, you know, you could have a nice little Christmas for your family if that's your goal, you know? So it's always, I think every single one of us on here will tell you that our only regret is that we wish we would have started sooner. Um, at least most of us anyway. So, well, thank you guys so much for hopping on tonight. We really appreciate it. Hopefully you've got some good information. Um, and I am going to send you, we'll, we'll make sure you guys get the recording too, if you want it, just to listen back. But thank you guys so much. And I hope everybody has a good night. Thank you, Lisa. You're welcome. Thanks for hopping on.